Put down the fork and no one gets arrested. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 foods that are banned around the world. Concentrate. I want ah! Mogu! Mmm, fan fugu tastic. That means we're looking at foodstuffs that have been banned, either entirely or to some degree, in various locations around the world. All right, let's dig in. Number 10, Aki. Aki, the national fruit of Jamaica, is a delicacy often eaten with salted fish. But anyone wanting to cook one must wait until the fruit has naturally split open or yawned. And only then can they discard the seeds, boil the flesh, and then cook further. Why? Well, unripe ackee contains potentially fatal toxins called hypoglycins. Some ackee can be sold in the United States, provided the production comes from certified green list firms. Otherwise, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, is authorized to detain imported ackee that contains elevated levels of hypoglycin. Yummy? Number 9. Ketchup Back in 2011, the world was shocked when it was announced that France was banning ketchup. Well, like most cursory headlines meant to grab your attention, <clears throat> clickbait, this was a half-truth at best. In fact, French schools and colleges did ban the free and unfettered use of ketchup, mayonnaise, and vinaigrette in order to promote healthy eating. In other words, students specifically could no longer slather their plates in unhealthy condiments no matter what they were eating, as young people are wont to do. This is my ketchup. <laughs> I bought this ketchup just so I could have as much as I want. But students could still have these sauces with individual dishes where appropriate. In other words, ketchup with fries? Allowed. Ketchup on a baguette with brie? Mais non! Number 8. Chewing gum. Have a hate on for chewing gum? If that's the case, then head on over to Singapore, where the import and selling of gum has been illegal for decades. Back in the early 90s, vandals were using gum to disrupt the door sensors on Singapore's mass rapid transit trains. In order to prevent the costly maintenance work, President Gu Chuk Tung had chewing gum banned outright. The chewy substance remains illegal to sell and import, although certain accommodations have been made for nicotine and dental gum. However, even the purchase of those requires permits or pharmaceutical prescriptions. Number 7. Kazu Marzu for those who don't know, this is a Sardinian cheese containing jumping maggots. No, we're not kidding. A traditional sheep's milk pecorino cheese is allowed to become infested with the eggs of a type of cheese fly. It is literally like caviar, yep. I mean, it's a caviar fried white. It is the, it's a huge delicacy. I'm dying to taste it. When the larvae hatch, the maggots eat through the cheese, resulting in a liquidy texture and apparently delicious flavor. The live maggots can also jump about six inches into the air when disturbed, so yeah. Turns out eating live maggots can result in a condition called pseudomyasis. And as such, the cheese has been totally banned throughout the European Union. The aftertaste stays for hours. It sticks, it has a length that goes on for about two days. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Kinder Surprise. This is an iconic and world-renowned Italian candy consisting of a delicious chocolate egg containing a toy in a plastic capsule. Well, in America, the FDA has stated that the egg, quote, poses a public health risk as the consumer may unknowingly choke on the object. And they're right, as some children have died in kinder-related accidents over the years. That being said, many countries have recognized its definition as a toy, and like any toy with choking hazards, a certain degree of accountability is in order. Regardless, the egg remains banned in the United States, and people illegally importing kinder surprises from either Mexico or Canada face heavy fines if they're caught. Number 5. Foie Gras Foie Gras is a grossly enlarged duck or goose liver that's been artificially expanded through force feeding. Colour is absolutely critical. This nice crispy edge on the outside, this nice pink sort of succulent, sort of almost like a warm butter inside. It's one of the most controversial foods in the world, especially in today's age of veganism and expanded focus on animal welfare. Despite being a delicacy in France, the import and or production of foie gras has been banned in many countries throughout the world, including India, Australia, and many European countries, as well as the state of California. New York City plans to ban the food by 2022. And for that matter, foie gras is hard to find even in places where it is legal, as many retailers refuse to stock it on personal and ethical grounds. Number 4. Shark Fins Shark finning takes a heavy, heavy toll. Fishing vessels catch a shark, hack off its fins, and release the finless shark back into the water, where it proceeds to suffocate. The shark fin trade is worth billions, and kills untold millions of sharks on an annual basis. Shark fins are used for texture, not flavor, in the Chinese delicacy shark fin soup. The act of shark finning has been banned in dozens of countries, 
and some places, including 12 American states, have banned the sale of shark fins altogether. In the summer of 2019, Canada became the first G7 country to nationally ban the import of shark fins. No shark fin soup for them. Number 3. Beluga Caviar Caviar is expensive, but then there's beluga caviar. These tiny, salty eggs come from the eponymous beluga, a type of wild sturgeon found primarily in the Caspian and Black Seas. It can cost thousands of dollars per pound. Good evening. Can I get a bottle of chilled Bollinger Gordon and the beluga caviar? However, wild beluga sturgeon are listed as threatened and are now protected by the Endangered Species Act. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service banned the import of beluga caviar in 2005. Thankfully, there are now fish farms around the world that raise sustainable sturgeon, and there are also more sustainable and affordable caviars produced from paddlefish and other piscatorial sources. Number 2. Pufferfish You won't find the infamous pufferfish in most Japanese takeout restaurants. Yes, it is poisonous, potentially fatal, but if sliced properly, it can be quite tasty. That's because the proper preparation of pufferfish, or fugu in Japanese, is so labor-intensive and rigorously controlled that chefs need to train for many years in order to handle, prepare, and cook the fish so as not to kill their customers. This is because the skin and organs of the fish contain lethal amounts of the neurotoxin tetrodotoxin. Isn't nature wonderful? Despite being a Japanese delicacy, the sale of the fish's liver was banned in Japanese restaurants in the 80s. The sale of fugu is also banned throughout the entirety of the European Union. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Haggis Surely you've heard of haggis. Chopped heart and lungs, boiled in a wee sheep's stomach. Taste as good as it sounds. It's a Scottish dish primarily consisting of chopped sheep hearts, livers, and lungs mixed with oatmeal and cooked in a sheep's stomach casing. The aristocrats. But did you know that it is illegal to export haggis to the United States? A ban on the import of sheep lungs was issued way back in 1971 because inedible traces of stomach acid and phlegm can find their way into the animal's lungs. Smell it. That smells delicious. Oh, it? See? Hey, pretty good. That being said, it is not illegal to eat haggis in the United States. The ban simply requires the haggis to be made in the country. So fear not. You didn't break the law when you bought that local haggis that one time because you wanted to try it. So aside from the obvious like gum and ketchup, I have also tried on this list uh, Kinder Surprises because Watch Mojo's Canadian and it's legal here, um, foie gras, and the number one, haggis. But my haggis was like microwaved and I don't recommend it. Anyway, um, what about you? Have you tried any of these banned foods? Let us know in the comments or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, be sure to like and subscribe and please watch this other video.